making ribs today as well with our other dishes. So I'm putting in some paprika. Love the smoked paprika in there. And this is some dry, fresh thyme. Also like a little bit of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And then you use your hands or put a glove on your hands and you mix this in really nice. And here is some salt and pepper. And black pepper. Okay. And these are some extra stuff from the garden. We have some hot pepper. Put some hot pepper in there. As uh, so green seasoning, which is thyme, celery, uh, shadow benny, and chives. And also a little bit of fresh garlic. Now you just take your hands and just get in there and mix this up and I let it sit and marinate for a little bit. Uh, you bake it at 350 degrees for about two hours until tender and uh, this is my quickest way and then you can grill it and put some delicious barbecue sauce or just grill like that. It's all mixed in and just cover this and let it sit. So I'll put a little aluminum foil, let it sit about 15 to 30 minutes. So now we put it in the oven uh, for about two hours, but every four to five minutes check on it. Because if you have thicker ribs, you want it longer. But my ribs are pretty thin, so not as long. Yep. Okay, we're taking out the milk. Smells. Okay. We'll take a look at it now. Check that out. Ooh, we're gonna flip it over and then put it back in for another hour, or or maybe just thirty minutes. That looks great. Juicy. We'll tuck it back in now and put it back in the oven for about thirty an hour. Hi my friend, so John, he's making a few things on his own since we have the fire aside going on and he needs a fire to do it. He's been asking to do this for a couple days. So I let's have. see, let's see what he's doing here. Check it out everybody. I got some beef tenderloin, which is one of the most tenderest parts of the, um, uh, the, the animal. And, and we have beef tenderloin, onion, potato, and plantains from our garden with some green onion and normal onion. We have those baby potatoes and tomato on these ones here. Over here we have a butter, garlic, rosemary, thyme oil to baste it with. Wow, John, that looks delish. And this is your creation? Yes, I can't wait. Oh, awesome, bud. All right, the fireside will be ready in a few minutes. Yeah. Hey everybody, we got some of my shish kebabs. I can't say the word right, but um, we have shish kebabs here and they are delicious looking. They have a green onion, tomato, potato, homegrown plantains, the mini ones, and delicious tenderloin, which is always the most tenderest part because it's always being used in the um, animal. Oh, nice. Put so we're. We'll place these down now and listen to the sear. Come close. Ready? Nice. And the little boy. Yeah, that has a nice air. We'll put a little bit on. This is garlic, rosemary, thyme, and black pepper that I just minced up and ground myself with some butter. You want the chunks on there. And the oil will help crisp this all up. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. A lot of smoke happening. Hopefully we'll get some flame action. It will flame if you have oil in there. Yeah. 
the smoke, this is wood down here that we chopped up with the coals. The coal is already burnt out as you can see. All that left is the wood and this will smoke the dish too. Nice, nice. Guys, this is backyard fireside style cooking, okay? Feels like the weekend every day when you're cooking on the fireside. I also put some uh, smoking wood inside, uh, smoking chunks inside of the fire so it gives off that delicious smoke. Now we will flip these over. Plantain will stay behind. Both plantains will stay behind. Ooh, look at that crust. Looking good. Oh, sorry. Check this out, guys. Nice, delicious, nice, delicious char and a lot of smoke to um, in flavor of the meat. Check this out. Looking good. We'll baste this one more time with the oil and we'll let it cook the rest of the way on this side. So now we'll add the garlic, a um, rosemary pepper oil, and this will inf infuse with the meat and the veggies and the plantain. Nice, nice. Looking good. One last spoonful. Here we go, everybody. We're going to take off this plantain nice and seared. We'll take off one of these skewers. Nice and medium rare, like, like how mommy likes it. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, medium good. rare to medium well. Check that out, the onions are cooked, the green onions are seared, the tomatoes are nice and juicy. Ooh, and the potatoes are cooked. <laughs> Check it out everybody, look at that sear. Look how good that looks. Tommy, Mommy, John's piece. That's all John, baby. Oh, Is John, I already, I already stole a piece. Look how it's nice. so yummy. It's so the juicy are all yours. and flavorful. You can taste all the garden herbs. And uh, John, it's cooked perfectly and tender. Oh, uh, yes. You can just use your fork and just cut it it's like butter how, how would you know that sandy because i stole a piece <laughs> our ribs are ready to go on the grill so what i did we take the excess water boil it down so this is the consistency of the the juices and the fats and so coming together with all the spices and now we have some rosemary i will just shape this uh, some in here for um, grilling when the grill to put on the on on the uh, grill, we're gonna put a little bit of extra hot pepper on it, and all uh, some green celery, chives, and thyme. Mix this in, and this is what will be our rub or our base for the grill. So listen, this is a full day of cooking and grilling and cooking Indian and ribs and all this good stuff together so our ribs are ready I and I gosh the sauce I made is so good so I'm gonna do I'm gonna just uh, put this down here I'm just searing it it's already cooked it's already tender okay. just gonna take this out put it here So this is the sauce from the meat. We add a little bit more rosemary and herbs from the garden to it. So now we're gonna just put a little sauce on there and then we're gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side. Mm. This is grilled ribs, rosemary grilled ribs.
guys you can do your pork ribs you can do your uh, any ribs like this any ribs you like you can make it barbecue style you can make it just grilled and chicken and um, herb style now we're gonna add a little bit more sauce on this side Nice, nice. Guys, you want that smoke and everything like that, so it tastes smoky. I made some garlic pepper rosemary and um butter plantains we're gonna roast on the grill yep. fresh from our garden i love cooking with chef john here we love cooking together lately we have our moments right john we do sometimes very yeah. rarely sometimes. nowadays <laughs> just charring them You let that sit for about five to seven minutes before you cut them. And then you serve with some of your sauce. Here you go, John, put in your plantains. Thank you. We'll add in our plantains on an angle so it gets nice grill marks. This is a mixture of hot sauce, pepper, Guyanese hot sauce, by the way. Um, some rosemary oil with uh, thyme and butter and a little garlic and a few other ingredients mixed together with, and tossed around before putting on the grill. Oh, nice, nice. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna add in our Okay, buddy. So we just finished flipping over all of our plantains one more time. Look at that nice crispy sear. You can actually hear it with the um, metal. It's like a grilled or seared sausage. Nice, nice. Let this side cook and get nice and seared on low heat. And in the meanwhile, we'll clean up the kitchen and make um, lunch. Now onto our ribs, guys. Look how nice and char and good these guys look. And these are dry ribs. And then, and then if you want, you can put some of the sauce on here if you want it a little wet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just, we let it sit. So all the juices and everything is sitting in there. And now we're gonna cut it. Guys, my hands are clean. Your fingers are the best tool in the kitchen. But look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Like. Look at that, look how juicy. Ooh, my favorite are spare ribs for ribs. And the lamb ribs as well. Lamb chops. Ah, oh, so my gosh, so soft and together. And then you're gonna put a little bit of your sauce. Hey, let's put some of this sauce on it, guys. Let's take one of these. Oops. And right, so we put some of this sauce on it. Mm mm. Some extra sauce. Let's try this. Wow. Mm. Wow, so flavorful, juicy, tender, mm, mm. very delicious. Wow. Mm. <clears throat> Guys, I love the cinnamon flavor as well in these ribs. Oh, so yummy. Enjoy, enjoy. Let me know how you... Um, let me know if you try this recipe, how it will turn out. <clears throat> Have an amazing day, everybody. Thank you for being part of us. Thank you for subscribing. And again, leave us comments and let us know how you like you make your favorite. Hey everybody, check it out. I finished making my plantains all nice and crispy on the sides and bubbling a little bit. Looks nice. So this is our, this is our delicious shisha bobs all mixed together. We have our plantain. Mom's making her bowl of 
the catfish curry the gilbaka with some ribs we're cutting up the ribs and making um, lunch ready Ooh, looks yummy right <laughs> 